thank you for staying with us. We are still with the Achebes and we have just gone through a journey mm -hmm. of a wedding that was cut short by a burial, but it really didn't uh, end things or rather postpone things. It still happened. And this is really encouraging, Winnie yes. and Bernard. Yeah, sure. This is so encouraging. Mm -hmm. So pre-wedding happens, yeah. your expectations are met because the word of God says the expectations of the righteous shall never mm -hmm. be cut, cut off. Yes. And so yes. your expectations are met. You say there was a lot of rain. Yeah. And you know, he is still the God of the rain. Yes. What happened next after the pre-wedding? So after the pre-wedding, we had now one week to the... We had... What, two weeks one to the wedding. Yeah. One to two weeks to the wedding, because mm -hmm. it was on 11th August. And uh, <clears throat> something funny happened that it was not easy again. Mm -hmm. I remember after the pre wedding, also my family had issues. Like after my mom had died, it's like they pulled yeah. out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like they feel, they, one, they felt like I am disobeying them. They, they are the same people who contributed in the, my mom's burial. Here I gain, I need their support. And I remember one of my aunt said somewhere, and the, the information got me, that bado anataka tumchangie, na tumechangia the mom to mezika, ati atuwezi fanya kazi kama hiyo. That broke me. And I said, I remember I was telling my husband, I don't know what will happen in that wedding day. Mm -hmm. Because the person who was supposed to stand in for me now is my sister's mother. And the person who spoke was one of my sister's mother. So it's like Walikwa wana, they were together, wana, they were influencing each other. Mm -hmm. But one thing I said was, yes, they have turned, actually they turned against it. Though they were in it, they, they seemed to be like they're for it. Mm -hmm. And yet deep inside, they were not for it. And I said, well and good, even if I will be taken with my dad alone, after all, everyone knows my mom went. So it, it won't be mm -hmm. like something big on that day. And I said, well, I'm good. So my family also turned against it. So we, we had that one week and we, everything was not easy because all the friends, I can say then, <laughs> partly some members of the church was, were against it. It mm. was not easy, but we, we took heart. It was not easy also for him, but we continued with everything and now, the week was there for the wedding, but one thing that helped us, the group I told you, the Defenders group, they used to pray for us so much. And in my, I said before in my wedding, I will choose the grooms and the, 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 the what? The Brides maids and the, the bridemaids mm -hmm. and that team, I will choose prayer for people who will pray with me. So they mm -hmm. came before, the day before, and they actually that night they never slept. Those ladies were praying, laboring in prayer, and they prayed for us. So I couldn't pray. Funny enough, you reach that point where you cannot even talk to God. One, God has betrayed you. So I was moving by that. Let me just do the wedding. I am holding unto the promises of God. Yes, I have the faith. But mine and you, God, say Kwanza, let it be that side. Because everything went down. So the only thing, remember, that kept me moving was the word of God. Yeah. And another confidence uh, that I had was this. I'm sorry to say in all my young stage, the youthful stage, I was married when I was a virgin. He can confirm. So I confirm. You confirm <laughs> so that I don't speak a lie. The thing that made me have confidence on that wedding day was this. I used to tell God, if I have never slept with a man before, if I have never walked in the ways that have not pleased you, mm. God, if for sure you are for them that are righteous, let me see you on 11th August, not mm. because I deserve anything from you, but because of the faithfulness that I have kept before you. And I used, mm. actually used to think that I have a lot of confidence, but I used to tell him, if I have <laughs> walked with God like this and I have kept myself, I was believing God will not ashamed me. I mean, mm. walking righteous, the word that he spoke, and now your confidence, I used to, to just to bank on that. And the wedding day came, that night, I remember, I was confused the day before. I don't know why. I was at 1 p.m. at Ngara Market. 1 a.m., I mean. <laughs> Coming back at home was 3. I never slept. So on the very day of the wedding, things okay, there wasn't confusion. Things were well mm. from the morning because the whole night the ladies were praying. But I didn't pray because there were people who were praying for me. I couldn't pray. And the wedding day came. 
in the morning I was remorseful. Actually, since 6 a.m., not 5, I was crying in where I was resting in my bed, and I cried up to, they were picking me from the house, 9. I, I was just crying. I couldn't talk, but I was crying because the person who has walked us through this is not there. And that is one thing I used to tell my mom. I will walk in righteousness. I will walk in my virginity to at least make sure that you are God gets the glory. Because he was a prayerful woman so much. And people used to despise him in our area. The God used to despise her God. And I used to tell my mom, I am going to do a righteous wedding because of your God. You know, that feeling you want to make someone's God be exalted. And so that day I was crying. If you can watch the video, it was full of tears. I could not even wear my clothes. I was shaking because the person who has walked us through was not there. And so they picked me. Anyway, it was good. The picking up was for a few minutes because we were considering time. And we went. And throughout, when we were going, I was just crying. I was not talking because I couldn't talk. Mm -hmm. So when we got to the church, it was full of people. I, what I saw, you know that day you can't see well, especially for women like this. <laughs> I could not see people, but I saw a big multitude. I was in tears. When they were worshiping, praising God, actually I found myself. I couldn't stand that day when they were worshiping and praising God. I was on my knees shaking and telling God. I actually, I remember the words I was telling God, you're still faithful, you're still mm. faithful. And I was shaking. And that day, that is one thing that amazed me. For sure, God never lies. When God speaks his word to you, the only mm. thing you need, like in this world, the only thing you need if you are a believer is to cling in the promises of God and mm. in his word. Sure. And that day even who came, those people, very many people came to see. You know when people come to see, mm. very many people are waiting for our downfall. Actually I came to realize very many people came to see, we are, most of them came to laugh from what I saw and the, the previous feeling and the words that were coming out of people's mouths. So that day I saw God because they came, the wedding was, and one prayer I made, I remember that morning that God, even if everyone will not come for the wedding, because it is your day and you had predestined it. And I told him, God, I just want, when I get into that door, let me feel your presence. However much I might mm. have two or three people, but I want to feel your presence. When I stepped into the door, let me tell you, the presence of God you will feel. I felt, I did not just feel his presence, I felt he was there with me. Mm. I felt, God, you are this real and you are here. And out of throughout the sermon, if you can watch the video, the praises, the house was. If you can watch it, Glorious. that is when you can know it was full of God. I had not slept, but for sure he is not a lie. Mm. And if you walk with him accordingly, if you walk in, if you are a youth, if you walk in righteousness, you will never be ashamed, just as David says, he has never seen. And for sure I thought I would be the first one after I had lost my mother and everything was darkness in my life. But 
that day I saw a broad light. And when we went home, when we went home sometime after the honeymoon, my dad told me one thing, that that day when you were being married, I saw a huge light from heaven coming down. And I said, so I didn't feel this alone. It was glorious and God just came. He came by himself, he didn't send anyone. And so for sure God is a great God. If you walk with him, if you are faithful, if you walk in his righteousness, if you have faith and you focus on him, one thing that will happen is people will turn away, people will run away, people will despise you, many will laugh. Actually, after seeing it is one month, people will wait for your downfall. But the only thing you need is to focus on God, is to hold unto his promises, and you will. Amen. That's really powerful. Wow. And even as we come into a close, maybe yeah. Bernard, uh, mm -hmm. what were your feelings on that particular day? I know sometimes people say the wedding is for the woman, but yeah. Yeah, sure. what experience can you give of and can you attest of this God that we serve? Yeah, actually, on personally, on the wedding day, uh, I was waiting with an expectation that God let this come to pass. Because to me it was going to be a fulfillment of uh, something that I knew the Lord was leading me to. And so, because even at that time, just to recap, I lost my job immediately. I declared I wanted to marry her. So I was running on faith. A and so, I knew if this comes to pass, I'm sure whatever is ahead of me, I was going to handle. Because um, there, there are people who I had shared to that, uh, you know, I, I'm planning a wedding and I don't have a job. And people would laugh. I remember some of uh, my friends would meet in an hotel and they're like, this guy is a joker. I, I think there is something that is not working in your mind. How, how do you tell us? You were telling us to come for your wedding, come for pre-wedding, but you don't have a job. But I said, no, if I know that it's the Lord going to do this, let's do it. It doesn't matter. So on the wedding day, I, I, I felt the peace of God because I knew uh, God was in it. We had prayed over it. And, and so I was waiting, let me, let me, I, I, I was determined, let me have the lady irrespective of whatever. And so it was good, yeah, because uh, many youths, few can make a decision to marry. I remember uh, in the same July, it's when I took her home, because my parents told me, no, you cannot marry a stranger. We need that lady to see her. So I took her home and, and they were like, you know, my parents My parents knew uh, I don't have a job, I'm not stable enough. And they're like, okay, you, why are you insisting on this? What is giving you confidence? But I thank God because one thing I was driving on was whoever finds a wife, finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. So I knew if this thing works out, it was a job. That's a small thing. And, and, and surely enough, that is what happened. I married and got a job. Wow. <laughs> That's really powerful. Yeah. And you know, um, there's so much I would engage you on and I'm so pressed for time, but yeah. someone is out here listening to us and they're in a place of despair. Mm -hmm. They're in a place where nothing is working out. There's yeah. a place where the deadline, like yours, was two months mm. or one month and nothing seems to be adding up, you know. Yeah. I would just want you to speak through uh, the camera there and just encourage someone as the Spirit of God leads you, just speak into their lives and, you know, just give them hope. When you walk with God, when you hold unto Him, one, you need just to walk with Him faithfully. And when we walk with Him and you hold unto Him, However much things will seem like they are not working, however much things will seem like they are impossible, however things might seem like they are in complete darkness, but the faith that once you received, walk in it. And even if you, you are watching and you're not born again, just you need to be born again and you really need to walk in the faith. Because one thing that 
kept me moving and that walked me in this victory was God himself. So men will turn down, people will turn down, they will run, they will run away, they will leave you like that, but God he is not a failure. Just be encouraged, time doesn't matter. God works mysteriously. Even in a, a week's time, God can do that which you're trusting him for. So hold on to God, walk unto him, walk in him. And one thing that you have to do is to walk and to hold unto his promises, the word of God. That which he has spoken is yes and amen. Because what he speaks <laughs> is true and is, he speaks it out of love. That is one thing I will want to encourage all of us with. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much. And she just mentioned someone might be watching and they have not given their life to, yeah. to Christ. Mm -hmm. So Bernard, if you could just also speak to, through the camera and just pray over someone that is watching and they've never dedicated their lives to God. Uh, I can't put it better than she's uh, put it. Uh, the promises of God, the scripture says the word of God is forever established. Yeah. And, and one thing that I believe there is always an opportune time, an opportune time. We, we live in a life where we are on a journey to purpose. And in this journey, there are things that you pick on the way. A wedding is one of them. A job is one of them. But the most important thing uh, for a life of anyone, whether a youth or a mature person, is having God. Because when all is said and done, uh, the scripture says many are the plans of a man, but it is the purposes of God that shall prevail. Yeah. And so I want to, to, to believe if you're not born again, give your life to Christ. Believe and, and confess according to the word of God and, and receive Christ. He's able to walk with you. He's able to be of help when situations are, are, are not working for you. And so if you're not born again, you can repeat this word after me and say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I accept you into my life wash my sins away and let me walk with you if you made that prayer with faith believing you have christ in you and you will not be disappointed god bless you Amen, amen. And if you gave your life to Christ, if you pray that prayer together with us, there's a number that is running down your screen. You can call or text that number and someone will talk to you, disciple you and make you someone that is accountable in this kingdom of light. Thank you so much. You know, you. and I just want to ask you to just say a very quick prayer of faith with someone that is trusting God for some, something this morning. If you could just... Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we exalt you even for the session we had had, oh God. And Lord, we pray even for the viewers, someone who is trusting in you, someone who is hoping in you, mm. someone who has lost hope in life, someone who has reached at a point of even giving up, someone who is feeling that all is lost. And how we pray that, oh God, you who sees from the heavens, you who sees what is deep inside our hearts. I pray that you may see them through, oh God, oh, that your light may appear to them, Abba Father. Someone who has reached a point that they feel that everything is lost, but oh God, you are our hope, and we declare King of glory upon them. May you be the only hope of their salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Them who are feeling to be, to be left back, Father Lord, May you hold their hands and walk with them for your glory and for your honor. We exalt you because you are a faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and believed. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you for making time. This is such an encouraging story. I'm sure someone's life has been turned around. I'm sure someone has has now faith to hold on to. May yeah. God bless you so much. And we, tell us more. When God does something, talk sure. to us. And I'm sure God is going to bless you. Thank you so much for making time this Thursday. Until next Thursday, I have been your host, Maria Macau. Let's meet then. Keep it Hope TV where you look and live.